Today I'm showing you guys the best builds in Season 3 of NBA 2K24. These builds will consist of point guard builds all the way up to big man builds. So make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if this video is helpful and you want more build videos. Alright, for all my point guards out there, man, I got y'all a great all-around build in NBA 2K24. And I think you guys are going to love this one. Now this build I'm going to show you is all around. It's good for threes, twos, fives, and you can even play 1v1 if you want on it. For the position, go point guard. For the height, put that all the way up to six foot six. And for the weight, go ahead and put that all the way up to 230 pounds. It does not matter. You're going to be moving just as fast and you get the burly body type. So go 230 pounds. And for the wingspan, go six foot eight. All right, so let's start off with the physical. So for the speed attribute, you're going to want to put that all the way up to an 86. Now, the reason we're going with an 86 is so we can get that gold speed booster. Now, it's not popping up right now because we got some other attributes that we have to fill up, but go with an 86 speed. I promise it is worth it. Now for the acceleration, we're going to lead that at a 71. Some people may disagree with me, but I think as a six foot six point guard, Excel does not matter. The beginning of the year, they prove that it does not matter. If you put your Excel super high, you're not going to see a big difference in speed um, out of the speed boost. So we're going to lead that at a 71. Now for the strength, we're going to leave that alone at the moment. The vertical, go ahead and put that all the way up to a 78. Now this is crucial. Make sure this is at a 78. Now for the stamina, go ahead and put that all the way up to a 96. At a 96 stamina rating, you're going to get gold handles for days. And that's going to be important as a point guard. So I noticed a lot in my build videos when I put up close shot, you guys are thinking that I'm putting these like meaningless attributes on. So I'm going to change the way I do these build videos. I'm going to leave close shot alone and you guys are going to see it naturally brings the close shot rating up when I bring my driving layup or my driving dunk rating up. So we're not going to touch close shot for right now. We're going to go straight to driving layup. We're going to put the driving layup rating at a 74. Now the reason why we're going with a 74 driving layup mainly is to get that gold giant slayer. That's going to be really good for 5v5 pro-am and 3v3. Now for the dunk rating, we're going to put that all the way up to a 90. Now at a 90 dunk rating, as you guys can see, we unlock gold precision dunker. If you guys don't know what precision dunker is, it improves a player's ability to make skilled dunks. So basically the meter dunks. And if you have precision dunker on gold, the green window in these contact dunk meters are ginormous. I promise it is worth it. A 90 driving dunk on a six foot six guard, you're going to be going nuts. And before I continue to show you guys all these amazing builds, let me tell you about the sponsor in today's video, Underdog, the best way to play fantasy sports and if you guys don't know the best thing about underdog is the pick them game you can literally pick any player or even your favorite players and you pick higher or lower on those player stats and the crazy thing is you can win up to 20 times your money in one night pick between two to five players to build a pick them entry and if you get every pick right you can win some serious money there's also a brand new customer special on underdog patrick mahomes only has to get higher than half a total yard you can win some serious money make sure you guys sign up using code call the man and pick higher than half a yard on patrick mahomes so here are my picks for this week in the nfl all right, so for the first pick, I'm going with Jared Goff. I got him throwing one interception, so I got him going higher than half a total interception. Tyreek Hill is an absolute beast, so I'm going to have him going higher than 100 and a half receiving yards. I believe in Tyreek. That's what we're going to be going with. And like I said, man, if I get these picks right, I'm going to win some good money. Underdog is available to many states in the U.S., so make sure you guys check out this map right now to make sure that you are eligible. So make sure you guys sign up on underdogfantasy.com or via the App Store using promo code COLDEMAN. Or you guys can click the first link in the description, and Underdog's going to double your first deposit up to $100. And that's Underdog Fantasy, promo code COLDEMAN. And look at the other badges we get as well. We get Silver Post Riser, we get Silver Slithery, Gold Precision Dunker. You know, if you want to get catch some lobs as well, you get Gold Aerial Wizard, Gold Bunny, Spin Cycle Hall of Fame, and Two Step on Hall of Fame. I'm telling you, bro, so far this build is looking like a menace. For the Standing Dunk rating, put that all the way up to a 45. Now, at a 45 Standing Dunk, you get some of the really good Standing dunk animations so i promise this is worth it for the post control leave that alone we are not going to be in the post we are a point guard on to the mid-range put that all the way up to a 77 okay we're rocking with a 77 because this build still can hit a lot of mid-range shots but on this build is going to be a 300 tight build okay we're going for the three ball. For the three pointer, put that all the way up to a 92, okay? We are going to be spraying these shots from deep. A 92 three point rating on 2K24 is absolutely nuts. Now, the main reason I want to go with a 92 three pointer is for two badges, okay? The two badges that I really want is gold dead eye, and we also get silver limitless range at a 92 three point rating. And you're going to be able to hit consistent shots from deep at a 92 three point rating. You can put the free throw all the way up to a 70 just so you can hit those consistent free throws. Now, for the pass accuracy, let me know down below 
in the comment sections for all the point guards out there let me know what pass accuracy are you comfortable with on this game a lot of people go 60s they go right at 70 but for me honestly you know if i play 3v3 or i play 5v5 setting like rec or pro-am i'm definitely gonna be rocking a 77 pass accuracy now the main reason i'm going with a 77 pass act is so we get that bronze needle threader a lot of people sleep on that badge the bronze needle threader badge is insane okay at a, in a 5v5 setting or a 3v3 setting when you dot your guy in the corner or maybe off of a pick and pop the defender is going to be standing there, and with a 77 pass sack and needle threader on bronze, you're going to be able to stun the defender at a high rate. So make sure you put on needle threader. 77 pass accuracy is needed in 2K24. And you already know the ball handle. We're going to put that all the way up to a 92, okay? We're at a 92 rating. You're a point guard. You got to be able to dribble. And look at the badges that come with it. We get blow by on bronze. We get gold handles for days. We get killer combos on silver, which is really good. We're also going to get speed booster uh, in the next attribute once we fill up speed with ball. As you guys can see, the main reason we go with a 92 ball handle, though, is for that gold unpluckable, okay? As a guard, you got to have some type of security on this game. You guys know steals are very OP. So we really can't go much lower than a 92 ball handle. We got to stay secure with the ball with that gold unpluckable. And for the speed with ball rating, as you guys can see, we're going to be rocking an 83. Now, that is the threshold to get gold hyperdrive and to get gold speed booster. Those are very important badges. As a point guard, you're going to need to move fast up and down the court, side to side. You need to be moving as fast as possible and gold hyperdrive and gold speed booster are going to help that now for the defense we're going to leave the interior all the way down and the perimeter we're going to put that all the way up to a 75 now the reason we're going with a 75 is mainly to get that bronze clamps badge now for the steel rating we're going to put that all the way up to an 85 now when i first made this build ladies and gentlemen i put it with a 91 steel now a lot of people don't know this or they may be unaware, but there's a big issue in 2K24 where the gold glove badge is broken. You get more fouls than steals with that badge. Silver glove is better than gold glove. I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to say it. It's crazy, though. I really, truly believe I get way more plucks with silver glove than I do gold glove. Let me know down below in the comments section. Anybody out there that's had a player with, like, gold glove, and they've noticed they don't get as many steals as they do with a player with silver glove. Let me know down below in the comments section. I may be tripping, but I swear I really stand on that, and I really believe that. The silver glove is better than gold glove. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is the build right here. I think this is the best all-around point guard build for all modes in NBA 2K24. So, if you like this build, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys would make some changes, let me know down below in the comment sections. Feel free to let me know what would you change about this build. We actually get shades of De'Aaron Fox and Lonzo Ball and Kenny Smith. And the build name is going to be a floor spacing slasher. One of the most common names on 2K24. Now, this next build I'm going to be showing you guys is my current build that I am using. Now, I need you guys to know that I am mainly a 1v1 player. So this build is mainly for 1v1. But you can also switch it up and you can put on pass accuracy and you can flip this build around to the way you want it. So let me know down below in the comment section how you would switch this build, but let's go ahead and get into it. So for the position, go small forward. The height goes six foot seven. And for the weight, go 250 pounds. At 250 pounds, you get burly body type. And just ISOing on this build looks absolutely hilarious. You move fast and you're also really fat. So it looks funny. For the wingspan, go seven foot three. Now, the reason we go seven foot three is mainly so I get that 88 mid range and I can unlock that gold green machine. But let's go ahead and continue. All right, let's start off with the physicals. For the speed, go ahead and put that all the way up to an 80 at an 80 we're gonna get hyperdrive and speed booster upgraded so let's go to acceleration and let's put that all the way up to a 74 at 74 we unlock like fast feet and different badges like that um you guys are gonna see once i upgrade all my other attributes like defense and playmaking and all that good stuff now for the strength put that all the way up to a 95 this is a crazy iso defensive build you get hall of fame immovable enforcer if you guys don't know what this badge is it's a crazy defensive badge and honestly in my opinion it is the best badge in NBA 2K24. It's better than clamps. Honestly, you don't even need clamps in this game. With Hall of Fame Immovable Enforcer, you get lots of bump animations at the top of the key, and you're going to get lots of stops. Now, for your vertical, put that all the way up to a 60. And stamina, go ahead and max that out at a 99. So, for the driving layup, we're going to put that all the way up to an 84. And, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the badges that we get. We get Acrobat Gold. We get Slithery on Silver so far. We get Fearless Finisher on Silver. And we get Giant Slayer on Gold as well. 
well. Now putting my driving layup up to an 84 is naturally going to bring my close shot all the way up to a 64. So we cannot bring that down, unfortunately. Now for the driving dunk, we're going to put that all the way up to an 80. Now listen, the reason why I personally go with 80 is because I have surpassed starter three. And at starter three, you unlock quick drops off one animation. Now that animation is very good. And to get that, you need an 80 driving dunk. Now I know a lot of you guys may not be starter three. So I would highly recommend either going 75 driving dunk or the 84 driving dunk so you can unlock LeBron's dunk animation. The standing dunk, I left that all the way alone. And at the post control, I put that all the way up to an 86. Now with an 86 post control, you do not get gold unpluckable. But the way I dribble on this game in a 1v1 setting, you really don't need gold unpluckable. You just need to keep running around and do not stand still in front of the defender, especially if they know what they're doing. So go with the 86 post control. You guys are going to see once I upgrade my mid range and three point shot, a lot of these other, other badges like post fade phenom, we actually get that on Hall of Fame. We get lots of these post badges on Hall of Fame. So overall, this build is literally a menace. All right, now for the mid range shot. Okay, this is like my bread and butter on this build. The mid range shot, we're going to put that all the way up to an 88. Now at an 88 mid range, we get gold green machine. Okay, we get lots of other gold badges, but gold green machine is so OP. I'm telling y'all, bro, it opens the green window up by so much. And as long as you make a couple shots, you can get that green machine activated. Now, some of you guys may think I'm crazy, but I've been grinding a lot with a 53 three ball and I mainly shoot with only take on this build. But once I got my sharp take activated, I can literally shoot with a 53 three ball like it's a 93 three ball open from deep. It does not matter. You can shoot very consistent with a 53 three ball in this game if you know what you're doing. But if you don't want to do that, I would highly recommend putting your three point shot all the way up to a 76 so you get that bronze agent three. The free throw, we're going to leave that alone because this is mainly a 1v1 build. Now for the pass accuracy, we're going to leave that alone. Naturally, it's going to go up to a 50 once we upgrade our speed with ball and and ball handle now for the ball handle we're gonna put that all the way up to an 80 now at an 80 ball handle look at the badges we get we get physical handles on hall of fame we get handles for days on silver and i promise you you're gonna be fine with these badges now for the speed with ball we're gonna rock with a 75 at 75 we get silver hyperdrive but the main reason we go with the 75 speed with ball is so we unlock that magic johnson dribble style okay only the real ones know that that dribble style is the most overpowered dribble style in the game you're gonna be able to get open with ease every single time and it's really easy it's not hard to get open with that now for the interior defense we're going to put that all the way up to an 83 and as you guys can see we unlock that post move lockdown on silver now for the perimeter defense this might be a little bit of, you know overdoing it but i want to be a straight clamp god on this building we're going to be rocking with a 94 perimeter defense and 2k just dropped that new patch um updating the perimeter defense so you're going to be moving really fast with a 94 perimeter but the main reason i went with a 94 perimeter is so we can get that hall of fame challenger the little guards that are going to be left riding at the top of the key you're going to be able to get a consistent contest on them with hall of fame challenger now for the steel rating once again we're rocking with an 85 so we get that silver glove i have made this build before with a 91 still and it was a waste of money 91 still gets you gold glove I'm telling you, you do not get as many rips with Gold Glove. It is broken this year. I'm trying to save you guys money. With an 85 steal, you don't get as many fouls. With Gold Glove, 91 steal, you get too many fouls. I'm telling you, Silver Glove is the way to go. And for the block rating, we're going to put that all the way up to a 79. Now, take a look at the badges we get. We get Bronze Anchor, Bronze Pogo Stick, and Bronze Chase Down Artist. You're going to be able to swat anyone that's coming in the paint, send it out of bounds, and do your thing defensively. Now, for the defensive rebound rating, we're going to put that all the way up to a 60 now at 60 we get bronze box out beast and we also get bronze rebound chaser um which is very good for 1v1 you guys know the post scores will pull up on you you know what i mean it's op um they get a lot of offensive rebounds but with rebound chaser you're gonna be able to get consistent stops overall this build is very good it can guard literally everyone it can guard post scores it can guard little guards you're gonna be able to do your thing defensively and offensively on this build but if you guys don't trust that 53 three ball this is another way you can make this build you could rock with a 77 three pointer and you know what i mean you could sacrifice defense a little bit and be just as fine and this build is pretty good i mean we get the shades of jalen brown and paul george but the build name is going to be called a two-way inside the arc score it's pretty copy so let's go on to the next and final build 
For all my big man out there, I promise y'all I'm going to show y'all some love as well. This is recently my new 99 Snag God rebound build, and you guys are going to be in love with this. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to make it. So for the position, go center. For the height, go 7 foot 1. The weight, go 249 pounds, and the wingspan, max it out at 7 foot 11. All right, so let's start off with the physicals. I'm rocking with a 60 speed, so we get that silver chase down artist. Acceleration, lead that at a 45. You're not going to be dribbling with the ball. Now for the strength, you want to go 90. You get gold immovable enforcer you're gonna be able to stop those post scores and you also get gold brick wall but most importantly you get that hall of fame box out beast that is literally op and much needed on these big man builds now for the vertical put that at 75 so you get that gold pogo stick stamina put that at a 96 now for your close shot put that at a 61 your driving layup leave that out at a 53 these are not important okay i promise these are not important with this build you are going to be dunking the ball literally just about every single play i would say like 95 percent of the time you're gonna get a lot of dunks so don't worry about the driving layup or the close shot you're not going to be doing any of that on this build for the driving dunk put that at a 73 now the main reason we're going to 73 is so we get that bronze posterizer badge and we also get the dwight howard dunk animations go with a 96 standing dunk to get the hall of fame precision dunker badge i promise y'all this badge is absolutely broken and not many big men know about it but listen if you know how to do the skill dunks with the meter the green window is so huge and it literally puts you in a contact dunk animation just about every single time the post control leave that out of 31 me personally i'm not in the post okay i do not run the way the offense plays as a center i let my guard do that so we're rocking with a 31 post control i'm gonna be straight with that as well now put your free throw all the way up to a 70 naturally that is going to bring your mid range and your three point shot up a lot a lot of you guys are in the comment section asking me why i bring up my mid range shot or my three point shot listen if i didn't have to bring this up i wouldn't but naturally bringing my free throw up to a 70 is going to bring the mid range and three point rating up as well and yes you need a 70 free throw to knock down these consistent free throws you're going to be in the paint dunking it getting fouled so you need a high free throw rating now for the pass accuracy put that up to a 92 so you unlock the hall of fame break starter badge and look at all the other badges as well you get gold dimer gold needle threader hall of fame post playmaker you know once you get a board you want to pass it out you can relay pass around gold special delivery all these badges are really good on a big man build this reminds me of a Jokic build a lot so once you grab that rebound and your teammates are cherry picking you can just throw it all the way down the court with ease and they're going to catch the ball easily and set themselves up for a wide open three now once again with the pass accuracy being a 92 that is naturally going to bring the ball handle up to a 57 i cannot bring that down or, or it is going to bring down the pass at some people may disagree i don't think you need higher than a 74 interior defensive rating um i think silver anchor is just as fine and as you guys can see we get the 87 block rating so you're going to be fine with a 74 interior if someone comes into your paint don't worry about it you got that 87 in block and you're going to be able to swat their shot now for the perimeter we're rocking with a 58 we can get that all fall pest on bronze and with a 58 perimeter you're gonna be able to stop you know people in the corner from shooting threes um, you're still at seven foot one you're still gonna be able to get a contest from the perimeter we're rocking with a 60 still so we get the bronze interceptor badge now the best part about this build is the rebound ratings we get a 99 offensive rebound rating and look we get hall of fame rebound chaser and we get hall of fame box out beast i promise you guys i get so many rebounds a game on this build i probably average about 30 to 35 rebounds in the rec and i'm not lying i promise every single game i get around 30 to 35 rebounds and it's because of this offensive rebound rating okay now for the defensive rebound we're rocking with an 84 now i know you guys are like oh it's not as high you know can, can you still get defensive rebounds yes you can because you went with the 99 offensive rebound rating you get these badges okay these badges at hall of fame are going to help you out with having an 84 defensive rebound okay yes you have an 84 defensive rebound but look at the badges you get with it. You're going to be able to worm. You're going to be able to get around the offensive player, the defensive player. It don't matter. You're going to be able to snag on this build. But overall, this build is an absolute beast. You're going to be able to dunk on heads. Once you get the rebound, you're going to be able to throw it down the court. And you're going to be able to snag just about every single rebound on this build. This is literally the best center build, in my opinion, on NBA 2K24. But if you guys would make any changes to any of these builds, let me know down below in the comment section, man. What would you change? But these are the best builds in NBA 2K24 Season 3. If you guys want more build videos, drop a like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.